Close your eyes and watch your breath. Any disturbances come up, just ignore them. Keep your attention focused exclusively on the breath. There will be sounds in the background, other sensations in your body, but you don't have to pay them any attention right now. Treat, treat them with some patience and some endurance. And the Buddha gave his teachings on the Ovadabhadi Moka, his summary of the teachings before sending his first large group of students out to teach. He started with patient endurance as the highest austerity, the best way to burn away the defilements of the mind. What's interesting is that in, in the suttas, the Buddha doesn't talk about patience that much, except in the context of goodwill. He says you have to make your goodwill resilient. So it's interesting, that pairing of patience and goodwill. You're patient, you endure, because you have goodwill for yourself. And you want to make sure that other people's behavior doesn't get in the way of your having goodwill for them. So think of his images. Make your goodwill as large like the earth. People can come and try to dig in the earth and spit on the earth and urinate on the earth to make it go away, but it's not going to go away. Make it large and cool like the river Ganges. A person can come with a torch and try to burn up the river, but the water doesn't burn. That was back in the days before pollution. Make a goodwill like space. Space is large. Nobody can write anything on it. In other words, people say things and you don't leave, leave them hanging there in your mind. Remember the Buddha's instructions. Someone says something unpleasant, you just tell yourself, and it's an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear. And just leave it at that. Don't pull it in and make more out of it than you have to. That way you're showing goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. Because if you weigh yourself down with, this person did that, and that person did this, and they were offensive this way, and whatever, your goodwill begins to shrivel up. And if you can't trust your goodwill, you can't trust yourself, because your goodwill is there to protect you from doing and saying and thinking unskillful things. So remember, the patience and goodwill go together. The goodwill is your motivation, the patience is your ability to make sure that your goodwill lasts. And your skill in making sure that you don't weigh yourself down unnecessarily. Use your ingenuity to think of other images besides earth and space and a huge river. Whatever helps maintain your goodwill. Because it doesn't come naturally that we're going to have goodwill for everybody. We have goodwill for some and not for others. That's the way the human mind is. But we're trying to lift the human mind up to the level of a Brahma. Brahmas have goodwill for everybody, regardless. That's where they're safe. So you make yourself safe as well, maintaining your goodwill, maintaining your patience, making sure that the two of them work together. <laughs>